Welcome, fellow curious minds, to a fascinating journey into the world of brainless wonders. In this two-part series, we'll explore the astonishing abilities of creatures that defy the conventional wisdom that you need a brain to function. Today, we'll delve into the extraordinary story of Mike the Headless Chicken, unravel the secrets of cockroaches, and uncover which bodily functions can operate without the brain's involvement. Let's begin with the tale of Mike the Headless Chicken whose incredible story proves that sometimes you can live without a head. Back in 1945, a farmer named Lloyd Olson attempted to prepare a chicken dinner, but a stroke of fate left Mike headless yet strangely alive. Mike, incredibly, continued to exhibit basic functions like walking, pecking for food, and even crowing. This bizarre story highlights that some bodily functions can persist without a brain. But what about creatures closer to home? Like cockroaches. Cockroaches, those notorious survivors, are often associated with toughness. But did you know they can function without a brain? This little critter right here is a cockroach. They have a distributed nervous system, meaning they have mini brains or ganglia throughout their body. While the head contains the main brain, it's not crucial for all functions. Cockroaches can react to stimuli, such as light and touch, using these mini brains. They can run, hide, and even reproduce without a head. It's a testament to the incredible adaptability of nature. So, it's evident that some animals can function without a brain. But what about humans? Do all bodily functions require the brain? Let's break it down. The brain is undoubtedly essential for complex functions like conscious thought, memory, and decision-making. However, not all bodily functions require the brain's involvement. Take reflexes, for example. Reflexes are rapid, involuntary responses to stimuli, and they often don't involve the brain at all. The knee-jerk reflex, where your leg kicks when tapped below the kneecap, is controlled by the spinal cord without any input from the brain. See? No brain needed for that quick reaction. Additionally, your heartbeat, digestion, and many other autonomic functions are managed by the autonomic nervous system, which operates without conscious thought from the brain. So, while our brains are incredibly important, there are many bodily functions that can occur independently of conscious brain activity. Our journey begins in the depths of the ocean, where we encounter a truly fascinating creature, the sea squirt. Sea squirts start life as tadpole-like larvae with a tiny brain. However, as they mature and anchor themselves to rocks or coral, they consume their own brains. Yes, you heard that right. They literally digest their brains because they no longer need them for their sedentary adult lifestyle. This remarkable adaptation raises the question, do we need our brains for survival or can we thrive without them in certain circumstances? Now, let's shift our focus to a different realm of life, the plant kingdom. Meet the sensitive plant, also known as Mimosa pudica. It's famous for its intriguing response to touch. When you touch its leaves, they quickly fold inward as if the plant is shy or playing dead. This reaction happens without any neurons or a brain because plants lack a nervous system as we know it. So, here's another example of complex behavior occurring without a brain. Now, let's explore an even more remarkable facet of our own bodies, the immune system. Your immune system constantly battles invaders like bacteria and viruses. It detects and destroys these threats, all without conscious thought or direction from the brain. This incredible ability of the immune system showcases that not only can some bodily functions operate without the brain, but they can also be incredibly intelligent and adaptive. So, what have we learned in this two-part journey into the world of life without a brain? We've seen headless chickens, resilient cockroaches, brainless sea squirts, touch-sensitive plants, and our very own immune systems in action. These examples challenge our understanding of what it means to be alive and highlight the diverse ways life can thrive without the conventional brain we associate with consciousness.